hey guys welcome back so i think i would say this video is to all but maybe for a very few people meaning it might be useful to maybe a lot of people but it might end up only being useful right now to a very few people because videos about mindset kind of turn some people off but anyway the video is going to be focused around personal development which is also one of the pillars of this channel i was just working on some of my day-to-day -day stuff and uh, something kind of came to my mind i was just like feeling so overwhelmed with the work i was doing and everything like you know i had a lot of things going on actually i was just feeling so depressed you know so negative in a different kind of way so I just thought to myself why am I getting angry at myself you know at my work at myself but I also have my ways of working around the whole anger and stuff like that well you can say I have my own anger management solution so while I was going through these kind of transitions you know from positive to negative to neutral to all those kind of things I just thought why not just share some ideas with people you know I might not be the only one going through these kind of things maybe you two might be going through this kind of thing or maybe you know someone who is going through this kind of thing I just decided to jot something down and just share with you about how I personally fight against all those negativity in my life well here are some of the ways that I personally deal with negativity in my life okay the first one which is taking in lesser negative content and also consuming more positive content is actually more of an active state so this is something you would have to work on this is something you would have to do first of all I don't give negativity access into my life at all I know that might be kind of confusing you know people might be like how do you give negativity access but what if i told you the type of content that you consume on social media and every other place on the internet can really influence you in a very serious way that you might not even be able to notice one huge example from my own experience is just so you know i'm not trying to criticize anyone here i'm just stating the facts if you take a look at the news these days i would say 70 to 80 percent of the news is a bunch of negative updates like every channel you always switch so you always hear about something violent happening somewhere something very depressing happening in a different place like you know you barely hear anything positive from the news it is always something bad like I won't say always but mostly something bad so I in my own way kind of just stay away from the news like the main news but I check updates I find out the headlines and stuff like that but I don't really go into what they are broadcasting there because you know sometimes they just broadcast what they think maybe their own perspective about something so you might end up just believing what they say when it isn't actually the truth i'm not trying to criticize i'm just saying the facts some people just watch the news and spread whatever they hear from the news which in most cases might not be the actual truth so instead you might be able to be consuming in more positive content like something that can keep you uplifting you know instead of keeping you depressed at least something that will keep you uplifting something that you love you know maybe something that just makes you happy you know just watch something even if it's entertainment maybe if it's the news because there's some news outlets that you can actually enjoy watching because they share the kind of depressing news and stuff like that but in a kind of entertaining way where they don't really make it look that cynical so you might be updated about what's happening but at the same time you won't have that kind of depression that you might get from just watching a random news so i would say be very very wary and careful of the kind of content that you consume be it blog videos audio podcasts you know everything just be careful of what you consume because it will influence you in a very serious way and the second one which is in the mindset ish category is always remember that no matter how hard life is going for you there is always someone else who is always going through something much more harder than your own so that should give you an opportunity to actually be humble even if it's just for some minutes or some hours but at least if you always do this on a consistent basis it will actually become a part of you and that is something you should really really try and get used to and number three you should always try to learn something new i know i've said this time after time after time that you should set goals for yourself you should know what you want to achieve set the goal and try and achieve that make your goals challenging because you know if you have something that you want to achieve there is something that you can see there that you want to get to you want to achieve then you always try your best to keep yourself productive until you reach that point and then when you reach that point you should also set something even much more 
challenging than that so that way you keep yourself always productive always kind of growing you know that's what we need we always grow every single day and we always learn from the people around us like literally you learn from everyone around you no matter how young or old that person is because if you keep pushing yourself to do something you boredom never and an advice to anyone who is always feeling bored try and find something productive to do because boredom is a sign of non-productivity you are not doing enough because if you are doing enough if you're trying to reach your full potential there is no way you will feel bored i just see boredom as the enemy of progress so you should just work on trying something new and the fourth one is try as much as you can to learn about building multiple sources of income like the most depressing thing you might go through is being locked down in your house and not being able to go out to do anything and also not having any means of income like your one source of income has been blocked maybe you have a physical store or maybe a brick and mortar business that you do and you are locked down in your house so what else would you do the thing is if you only rely on one source of income one day the thing might backfire on you and disappoint you you know as the saying goes don't put all your eggs in one basket i just believe that when you have the multiple sources of income your focus won't always be on how to make money it might also expand to how to solve a problem which brings us to the last one find a problem to solve and when i say find a problem to solve i mean become an entrepreneur because an entrepreneur is someone who finds a problem within their society and try their best to solve that problem. And in the process, they create a business. So entrepreneurship isn't just about having a business or maybe having a store or maybe you have an online business or something, no. It's about finding problems that people are going through and solving the problems for them and making that a business. Entrepreneurs don't only make money, they serve people and make money from that. So I would advise you to find a problem and solve that problem. That might be the key to you building a new business. You never know. So question of the day. So tell me, in what way does your positive mind get interrupted by negativity? And also tell me, how do you counterattack that? So maybe I can share your experience too with other people. Maybe all of us can learn from your experience too, not just mine. Because I just said something about my own experience. So you can just let me know about yours in the comment section. And we'll discuss about everything there. Now, I know in such trying times, it is very, very difficult for someone to always stay positive and optimistic. But at the same time, it is also very crucial to your health. Like, you know, your mental state and everything like that even your physical state so it is very very important for you to always try as much as you can to stay optimistic and positive always imagine yourself as coming out through the other side of the depression through the other side of the sadness through the other side of the anger you know as they say there is always light at the end of the tunnel so just keep on holding on and if you think there's something you need to share with me you can also reach out to me on my social media accounts and lastly today or should I say this video would be my last video in this home studio of mine. <laughs> I'm actually moving out today because I've already packed. I just won't show you the room. It's kind of messed up right now, but I've already packed and I'm moving out today. So my next video might be in a different kind of studio setup. I still have no idea how I'm going to set up my studio. We'll see how it goes anyway. Okay guys, go out there and always spread positivity. Always counter negativity with positivity. And also if you enjoyed this video and maybe benefited from the video, go ahead and smash the like button and also click on the subscribe button right there if you also want to be part of the family and join the conversation. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.